Hello everyone! In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an amazing Quick Impact logo reveal. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do it now. It's free. Plus, I'm offering free project files to help you create amazing content. Without further ado, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. I am calling it Quick Impact Logo Reveal. As always, I am using the same resolutions. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 10 seconds. Let me import the required files for this project. I will upload everything to my website. Drag and drop the logo into the composition. Press S to open Scale Properties and adjust the logo scale if required. Right click on the logo and choose Precompose. Rename it to Logo Texture or any name you like. Make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. Drag and drop the logo texture just below the logo texture composition. Adjust its scale so that it fits our logo properly. Go to Track Mat and choose Alpha Mat. If you don't see the Track Mat options, just click the Toggle Switches Modes button. Unhide the logo texture layer. Keep the logo texture layer selected and increase the screen size a little. Go to Effects and Presets. Search and apply the gradient wipe effect on it. Change the gradient layer to logo texture image. Now increase the transition completion amount. I think 50% is perfect, but feel free to adjust it as needed. Right click on the empty space, then new, and create an adjustment layer. Rename the adjustment layer to displacement map. Keep the adjustment layer selected. Go to Effects and Presets. Search and apply the Turbulent Displace effect on it. Let's adjust the settings. Change the size to 2. And change the amount to 40. Right click on the logo layer. Go to Layer Styles. And choose Bevel and Emboss. Go under the Bevel and Emboss properties. Change the size to 3 and change the highlight opacity to 50%. Select all layers. Right click on them. Choose pre-compose. Rename it to logo comp or whatever name you prefer. Go to the project section. Drag and drop the background just below the logo comp. Select both layers and enable the 3D options. Open the position properties of the logo comp layer. Move your time indicator to one second. Add a keyframe on position. Move the time indicator back to 15 frames, then decrease the Z position value until the logo moves off the screen. I think minus 3000 is fine. Select both keyframes. Right click, Keyframe Assistant, and choose Easy Ease. Go to Graph Editor, and adjust the graph to something like this. Exit the Graph Editor. Don't forget to enable Motion Blur for the logo comp. Now, let's preview it. It looks good to me. Now, let's refine it to make it more professional and interesting. Select the logo comp layer and make it duplicate. Rename the bottom layer to logo shadow. Hide the logo comp layer for the moment. Keep the logo shadow layer selected. Go to effects and presets. Search and apply the fill effect on it. Again search and apply the CC Radial Fast Blur effect on it. To create a nice blur, we need to drag this small circle to the top. 
then change the blur amount to 75. Now, change the fill color to the black. Finally, unhide the logo comp player. Let's see the preview again. Now our logo looks perfect with the drop shadow effect. Go to the project sections. Drag and drop the particles footage just above the background layer. Solo the particles footage layer. Keep the footage layer selected. Go to effects and presets, then search and apply the levels effect. To make our footage darker, we need to adjust the input black value accordingly. Now, change the footage blending mode from normal to screen. Go to the project section, drag and drop the smoke footage just above the particles footage. Move the time indicator to the point where our logo hits the ground. Move the smoke footage to that position. Change the smoke footage blending mode from normal to lighten. Also change the smoke footage opacity to 75%. Right click on the empty space, then new, and choose camera. A 35mm preset should work best. Move the camera layer just above all layers. Move the time indicator to the first frame. Select the camera layer and open the position properties. Add a keyframe. Move your time indicator to 5 seconds. Adjust the Z position of the camera to get a better effect. I think minus 2200 is the ideal value. Select both keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and choose easy ease. Select all layers, right click on them and choose pre-compose, rename it logo build. Move your time indicator to 5 seconds. Trim the work area. Now let's check the preview. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Let's add a shaky effect to it. Move the time indicator to where the logo is about to hit the ground. Go to effects and presets. Search and apply the wiggle position effect. Add a keyframe on wiggle speed. Change the value to zero. Select the logo build layer. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Move three frames forward by pressing Ctrl plus right arrow three times. Change the wiggle speed amount from zero to one. Again, move three frames forward. Change the wiggle speed value back to zero. Select all keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant and choose Easy Ease. Let's take a look at what we've created so far. I think the wiggle amount is too much. So select the middle keyframe. I'm going to change the wiggle amount from 50 to 20, but you can adjust it as you like. Also change the logo build layer scale from 100 to 105 percent. And that's it. Our quick impact logo reveal is ready. I hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial. Please hit the like button if you found it helpful. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for all the support and love. Peace.